Good morning. I'm going to read just one verse to you today. It's a verse that just caught my attention. Uh, Matthew 16, verse 26. And it says, And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? What do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your soul? What a potent question. You know, there are any number of examples of unbelievers who gained the whole world and still today are gaining the whole world, but have lost their soul, who deny the existence of God. Um, and while it's not my place to, to judge someone else's salvation, um, we can be pretty confident that a person who disavows God, who has disavowed God in their lifetime, that um, they're an unbeliever and they have a lost soul. You know, it's interesting. Forbes magazine produces an annual list of the highest earning dead people for that year. That's right. You can look it up. Um, that is, people who have died, but their estate um, still generates lucrative income from their previous work. And many, if not most, of the people on that list are unbelievers. People like Roald Dahl. You may not recognize the name, but he was a children's author. He actually wrote um, the book that was turned into a movie, one of my favorite movies um, when I was younger, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I still remember Gene Wilder playing um, you know, the, the crazy chocolate magnate who uh, had the young boy come through and getting scared when uh, the girl turned into a blueberry. Man, it was, it was a scary thing. And you had the little Oompa Loopas there. And he wrote that children's book that was turned into a movie. Did you know his estate? generated $513 million in 2021. And he died in 1990. Uh, when he was asked about his faith, Dahl once replied, I desperately want to believe in Christianity, but I cannot. What does it benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your soul? Prince, the singer, earned $120 million in 2021. He died of an overdose of fentanyl, I believe it was back in 2016. Michael Jackson earned $75 million last year. He was a singer, songwriter, who was an accused pedophile. He died of a drug overdose. Elvis Presley, yeah. That Elvis Presley, who died decades ago, he earned $30 million last year. He was a singer, movie star, who was sexually promiscuous and addicted to drugs. He died of a heart attack at age 42, even though some think that he might have become a believer towards the end. We don't know. But it really raises the question, what do you benefit what have you gained? What have you earned? What do you benefit if you gain millions of dollars, even after you die, if you lose your soul in the process? Pray with me. Lord, I don't want to sell my soul for anything. I want to give my soul to you. Lord, what a tragic life to gain everything else but lose the one thing that really matters for all of eternity. I pray, God, that you would help us to lay hold of the great treasure that you have offered, eternal life in you. Lord, I don't want the whole world if it means I lose my soul. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friend. Hope you have a great day. See you again tomorrow. God bless you.